All the world's a stage, and all the men and women really plays. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. His acts being seven ages. At first, the infant, mewling and puking in the nurse's arms, and the whining schoolboy, with his satchel and shining morning face, creeping like snail unwillingly to school. Then the lover, sighing like first, with a woeful ballad made to his mistress's eyebrows. Then a soldier, full of strange oaths and bearded like the pard, jealous in honor, sudden and quick in quarter, seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth. And then the justice, in fair round belly with good cape unlined, with eyes severe and beard of formal cut, full of wise saws and modern instances, and so he plays his part. The sixth age shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloon, with spectacles on nose and pouts on side, his youthful hose well saved, a world too wide. For his shrunk shrank, and his big manly voice turning again towards childish treble, pipes and whistles in his sound. Last scene of all that ends this strange, eventful history. His second childishness, a mere oblivion. Sans teeth, sans eyes, sans taste, sans everything. 